Okay, so if you've followed me for a while now, then you've probably already noticed that most of my American style buttercreams use far less powdered sugar than most traditional recipes. And the reason for this is that I find traditional American buttercreams just far too sweet and really grainy. So today I'm going to be sharing my super silky smooth, not too sweet buttercream recipe that has great stability and is pretty much the base recipe I use for most of my buttercreams. So to start off, you're going to need some kind of mixer. You can do this with a hand mixer, but it does require a bit of an arm workout. So, you know, to save me a bit of energy, I'm going with my stand mixer. So to your bowl add in 340 grams or one and a half cups of room temperature unsalted butter. Now it's really important that your butter is at the right consistency. So you want it to be soft enough that you can make an indent into the butter with your finger, but it's also still firm enough to hold its shape. This is the consistency that the butter needs to be in order to hold the air that we are just about to whip into it. And that's what makes our buttercream really nice and light and fluffy. Then you're also going to add in three 375 grams or three cups of icing sugar, also known as powdered or confectioner sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, and 120 grams or half a cup of room temperature cream. Now it's really important to make sure that your cream is at room temperature, otherwise it's going to change the consistency of your butter. And it's also important to make sure that you're using a cream that's used to make whipped cream. So here in New Zealand, our cream has a minimum fat percentage of around 34%, which works great. So you wanna stay away from anything that has a fat percentage below 30%, otherwise your buttercream isn't going to be as stable. And then using the paddle attachment, you just want to mix on the lowest speed until everything is combined. And then once that's done, scrape down the bowl just to make sure everything's mixing well, and then turn up the speed to a medium high. And now you're going to let this whip for a full 10 minutes scraping down the bowl every now and then just to make sure everything's mixing well. This mixing step is super important. It's going to make your buttercream super light and fluffy and also help the sugar dissolve to get rid of some of that graininess. So you definitely don't want to skip this step. Now after 10 minutes, turn the mixer down to the lowest speed for another minute or so. And this is just going to help get rid of any large air bubbles. Okay, so about 12 minutes later, you should have a much lighter colored buttercream and then that is basically it. You can see here that the buttercream is super smooth, it's great for piping and holds up great when used for layered cakes. Now, if you find that your buttercream is not quite as light and fluffy as mine, or it's got heaps of little kind of holes in it once you're finished, then it's most likely because either your cream or butter was just a tad bit too cold. So to fix this, simply pop your buttercream into the microwave for five second bursts. Don't leave it in there for too long because buttercream turns into liquid very quickly. And then once it's a little less firm, re-whip it for a few minutes and this should do the trick. Mmm. It's so good. It's super light and fluffy and the best part is it's not too sweet. And because we added in the additional cream and we don't have so much more icing sugar compared to butter, it really helps get rid of some of that graininess as well. It's not you know, 100% gone, but it's definitely way, way better and way smoother than, you know, a traditional American buttercream. So that is it, guys. If you do decide to give this buttercream a go, then please do leave a review on my blog. It really helps my content out, and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video.